All right, guys, now we're going to drop in some speed control. So all the labs so far, we've just been having the, the cylinders move at the same speed, but we may want to slow it down in order to get things to work in a different fashion. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this speed control. We're going to have the double acting cylinder now. So you can put the single acting cylinder back into the tackle box. Double acting cylinder is going to be operated by two, three, two push buttons. This lab is identical to lab number three, except the circuit is to incorporate an independent speed control on only the retract stroke. So the cylinder is going to extend quickly and then retract slowly. The key to that is this guy right here. We've got the one-way flow control. So you're going to look in your tackle box for this guy. Again, be careful because uh, somebody could have cranked it on this one. This is a locking ring right here. So you'll have to back this off and then you'll be able to adjust your flow control with the plastic portion at the top there. Okay, on the, the front there, it does show uh, this symbol right here where it has, so it doesn't show this guy for some reason, but it does show this symbol right here where it has a larger arrow and a smaller arrow. That's showing you that uh, if you have air coming in in this direction, then that air is going to seat this ball in that check valve and the air would have to go through that restricted flow. Right, this part right here is kind of like a venturi tube, and then they have an arrow to show that it's adjustable. So, in that fashion, if the air is going in this direction, then we're going to have reduced flow. In the opposite direction, let's just get rid of this guy. If the air is going in this direction, then it has this choice of going through a restricted flow or free flow. So, obviously, we're going to have full pressure going right through that flow restrictor. So this is a one-way flow control, meaning that if the air is going in one direction, it will seat this ball and have to go through the restricted flow. Okay, if it's not working for you, then take it, flip it around, and it should work perfectly for you. All right, guys, let's look at that fluid sim and see how this guy works. All right, so now what we need to do now is grab a double acting cylinder. Let's see, single double acting cylinder. Excellent. Again, remember that on this simulator, it's pointing in the opposite direction of the SMC boards that we have in the shop. In the shop, our boards are pointing in the opposite direction. Okay, so what do we need? We now need to throw in some flow restrictors. Uh, so let's grab that guy. Okay, so where is that? There we go, one-way flow control valve. So we'll grab this guy and drop it on the page. Now. I've got a poor memory, so this thing was supposed to extend quickly and retract slowly. So let's drop in some text as well. Excellent. Okay, so what are we going to just wrap the guy up here maybe? Very nice. Okay, we're getting a little bit crowded, so let's grab this guy and drop it down a touch. And now we need to make use of this one-way flow control valve. And what we need to do is we need to rotate this a touch. So let's see, let's rotate this uh, 90 degrees, so it's easier to work with. Now, you can make it work like this, where you have the arrow pointing up. I like setting it up, or it makes more sense in my mind, if I have it set up like this, similar to a martini glass with the olive in the center there. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, I want you to pause the video for two seconds, and we're gonna to try to figure out in this orientation that I've chosen, whether we're going to place this flow control valve in the extend portion, or whether we're gonna put it into the retract portion. Okay, what we need to do is we have to have this guy extend quickly and retract slowly. So pause the video for two seconds, See if you can figure out where we want to put it, and then I'll show you where I think we'll, we'll drop her in. All right, well, we need this guy to extend quickly, right? So we need full flow to go up to here to extend this. So let's see, if I have full flow going to here, then I'm going to have that. It's going to push that ball up and allow that air to go straight through. So I'm actually going to move this guy over to this portion here. Okay, then I'm going to connect this guy up. There we go. And then we'll bring this down to here to complete our circuit. 
Excellent. Looks good. Okay, now this isn't uh, everything. What we need to do is we need to double click on this one way flow control valve and determine how much flow is actually going, going to go through there. So I'm just going to determine, maybe we'll go with 7% for now and see how it goes. So we're going to really crank it down. Uh, now, again, you can try as much as you want to have this simulate exactly what's going to happen out in the field, but you know there are some limitations to the to the software, so you have to kind of play around with it. Okay, let's see if this works. So let's see, we've got pressure going to either one of these push buttons, okay, and then when I press this, then the air is going to come up, and I need it to extend quickly. So hopefully, all the air is going to come up, push this ball up, and we'll have full flow. And there's no restriction on the air going from two to three and exhausting out to atmosphere. So extend quickly. Excellent. Okay, it went quite quickly. Now, we need this guy to retract slowly. So hopefully when I press this, then the air is gonna come up from one to two, come over here, push back on the cylinder. Any air that was trapped in here, is it gonna come down? And then it's gonna seat this ball and the check valve, and then have to go through the flow restrictor before it goes from two to three. So we'll now press this guy and it just slowly retracts. Let's see if we can, 27 was working before. Let's see if we can try 5%, really crank it down. Okay, so full flow and then, ah uh, yes, nice and slow. There we go. Okay, full flow and restricted flow going back. So again, You'll have to play around with how much this is cranked out. So let's walk through this one more time. If I press this button, then I have full flow going up. It pushes this ball up, and then I have full pressure going to the double acting cylinder and no restriction on the air coming out. When I press this guy, then the air goes from one to two, up, pushes back on this double acting cylinder, and then comes down, seats this ball, and then all that air that was trapped in there has to go through this flow restrictor and go from two to three. Excellent. Extends quickly and retracts nice and slow. So at this point, you can write this one down for your diagram um, for this lab. Once you've got that down, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this flow restrictor and I'm going to put it into the other line. So. This is perfect, write this down and you can hook this up in the lab. But others have said, no, I thought we should put it in this portion of the circuit. So let's see what happens when we put that flow restrictor into the other portion of the circuit. Okay, so let's hit stop here. Let's get rid of these lines here. Excellent. So let's bring this guy over. But in order for this to work the same way, to extend quickly and retract slowly, we need to rotate this guy 180 degrees. Okay, so there are a number of ways that we can get any of these circuits to work. The previous version that I showed you before, you can write down and have that hooked up. But there is also this way as well. Okay, let's double check. We still have this at 5%, that's good. So. Let's hit play and see how this guy works. Now, I need this to extend quickly. So if I hit this push button, then the air is gonna go up. All the air is gonna come through here. Any air that was trapped in there is now going to come down, full flow, and exhaust from two to three. All right, that looks like it's gonna work. Then we have this push button, and the air will come up from one to two, and when it comes up to retract it, then it will seat that check, check valve, and have to go through the flow restrictor in order to push this back. On the other side, there's nothing to restrict the air that was in there from escaping from two to three. Okay, so different designs. So we'll hit this guy, extend quickly, and then when we hit our other push button, hopefully it will retract slowly. Excellent. Okay, so there's two different designs. I like the previous design because here you're putting full pressure to this flow control valve from the compressor. In the other design, we were just using the any air that was trapped inside the cylinder to go to the flow restrictor. So two designs. I like I previously personally like the, the previous one, but either one will work. Okay, so again to retract slowly, extend quickly, 
Retract slowly. Excellent. Okay, so choose either one, and now let's go hook it up in the lab. All right, so we need to have this guy uh, extend quickly and then retract slowly. So right now I've got a circuit where it extends and retracts at the same speed. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw in the flow restrictor, and we need it to extend quickly, but then retract slowly. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the flow restrictor in this side, which seems counterintuitive, uh, but I'm going to, because I have the air coming up here to push that back. So by putting the flow restrictor in here, we're only going to have to deal with the pressure that was in the actual cylinder. Okay, so I'm just going to arbitrarily hook this guy up. And let's see, let's see if we got it correct. I've got full flow in there. And I've got a reduced flow over here. And let's see if that works. Okay, so we need it to extend quickly. Let's crank this down. Okay, so we need to extend quickly and then retract slowly. So now you can see that it's retracting ever so gently. Okay, let's open up a bit so we can get a little bit faster. Okay. So we can extend quickly now, and we can retract slowly. Very nice. Extend quick, retract, slow. Okay. I have that in this side here. If I take this out and place it into uh, the other portion of the, the circuit, then it'll work as well. So I'm going to take the flow restrictor out, put it in the other side, uh, but then I'm going to have to flip the orientation of that flow restrictor. Okay, so let's take that guy out, put that in here, I'm going to put it in the other side. Now the, the one that we just did is probably the best way to do it, but again, there are multiple ways to set the circuit up. Okay, so <clears throat> we've already seen the animation with the fluid sim. Let's see if this works in the opposite side. I've changed this and flipped it around. So now we've got it extending quickly and retracting. Slowly, let's crank that down a little bit. Okay, extend quick and retract slowly. So it'll work in either side, depending on the orientation of this one-way flow control valve. I like it better over here because right now it's having to deal with the full pressure to the one-way flow control valve from our source, whereas over here in this line it just needs to deal with the pressure that was latent inside of this cylinder. Alright guys, hopefully that clears it up. On to the next one.